welcome back to my channel happy new year it is day six of january therefore not so new anymore i decided to take a quick little break after the craziness of vlogmas which is why i haven't been posting but i'm back with another video and i figured what better way to start off the year with a deep cleaning video i asked on instagram what you guys wanted to see more of this year and many of you guys said cleaning videos so we are back with a deep cleaning a little td to clean the apartment these are some sweats from Target, cardigan from Express, um, tank top from I don't know, and my cute little socks. But yeah, if you're not wearing something like this, are you even cleaning? You know? All right, so let's start in the living room. This is what it's currently looking like. The holiday decor is still up. This is a new rug that we recently got. We ended up returning the one from Walmart because it didn't fit in the room. This one we got at Home Goods. It's not white. And I have a feeling it's going to be way too similar to the couch and perhaps I'm gonna want to change it but that's a story for another day because Eric's gonna be really mad at me we ended up getting these three white pillows from Target thinking that they were like the choppable ones but they're not you know like I can't chop these how can I make my pillows choppable can someone let me know in the comments below some good pillows that I can chop. Anyways, I am going to be fully getting rid of the pillows that came with the couch today. I know I've been saying that for a long time if you guys haven't been following me for December. These are clean laundry that I need to fold. The tree has not been taken down like I mentioned. I don't have storage bins for them, which is the main reason why I haven't taken it down just yet. Every single time I go to Home Goods, they're all taken, and I want the same ones that I have in my closet already. So I'm thinking of making it work with the ones that I have, and hopefully we can take down the tree today, because honestly, even though I love the tree, I just, I want to start fresh. You know, 2021, it's the year. I'm also going to be putting away the house village some more winter decor right here i have to deep clean the bar cart because it's so so dusty i feel like you can't see but this is the place that gets the dustiest but the entire apartment is so so dusty so yeah deep cleaning for sure today then we have the kitchen which will also be deep cleaned the bathrooms as well this room let's get to it can i just say that it is the best day to clean because I finally got my hands on some Lysol after I don't know how many months because it's been sold out here in New York City. On a serious note, I am so happy that I was finally able to find some Lysol, but I'm just going to start off cleaning the kitchen and removing everything out of the countertop and just spraying it as I go. Also, don't forget to drink your water. That is my 2021 resolution to try to drink more water. I feel like there's no other spray that cleans like this one but i'm just going to continue to clean the kitchen there's not much i could say aside from you guys just watching me but i'm also going to be cleaning and spraying the cabinets and the walls so i can spray that uh, moving on to this drawer right here which was a hot mess i'm going to declutter it and just organize it as i go
Don't forget to also clean the backsplash and as to for the stove, I like to spray it and just let it sit for a little bit and continue to clean the cabinets. For the fridge and basically anything that's stainless steel like the stove and the dishwasher I'm going to be using my stainless steel spray. Something that's really important when deep cleaning is not forgetting the baseboards. That's something that we tend to forget and in the long run it collects a lot of dust. So I like to just use the vacuum and like make sure that the dust gets removed and then with the microfiber cloth and the Lysol go around it. I am also going to be cleaning the doors and handles of every room. By the way, this is my favorite glass cleaner ever. It also comes with the rag that I'm using as well. It's from Infuse. It's sold at Target. They have different sprays, but this one in particular is my favorite and it's the only thing that doesn't leave any streaks. Alright, so moving on to the holiday decor. Honestly, I've been dreading this for so long. I love putting up the tree. I love having Christmas decorations, but I hate taking it down. It's so stressful to me, but I'm just going to start off with my winter village and just putting it back in its box and then moving on to the tree. I personally like to start off with the big pieces and ornaments and then just divide them by color. I have different bins for each color. This organizing Christmas tree bag is from Amazon. I'm going to be linking it down below. It's the best and it fits so much in there. I've had it for years. I originally wanted to put it in this closet right here and as you can tell I am contemplating it because it just doesn't fit. Um, but there is a storage room in this building where we can rent space so we might be doing that because it was so stressful trying to find the space for it. And then I'm just going to vacuum the entire mess that I left behind. Alright, so after cleaning the living room, I ended up calling Eric so we can lay down the rug and it turned out to be a little too small. So yeah, returning yet another rug, but moving on to my beauty room and organizing everything. By the way, this has to be the worst drying rack ever. I swear I struggle every single time trying to disassemble it, but yeah. Let's continue cleaning. Alright, so I've shared this trick before, but as for my plants, I do like to clean them every so often, especially this fig plant. I take organic coconut oil and apply a really small amount in a microfiber cloth and then just clean gently the leaves and it makes it super shiny and healthy.
All right, so moving on to this side of the room, I do need to organize each cube individually, but that's a task for another day. I had some Christmas decor above, so I removed that and I'm going to be organizing it and displaying it with some vases and the printer in the center. The rug for this room turned out to be a success. Thankfully, it's from Home Goods, but it still needs to flatten out on its own. Moving on to the bedroom, I am finally going to be making the bed. That is the first thing I like to do in the morning, but I started cleaning in the kitchen this time around. And then I'm just going to try to dust off everything around the windows because that tends to collect a lot of dust. Alright, finally the bathroom. I'm going to start off by cleaning the mirror and then the sink and then the cabinets. I am going to just spray everything around. I do need to take some time to declutter the cabinets, but that's a task for another day. And then I'm just going to start cleaning off the toilet. I like to use paper towels for this just because it's more sanitary. What do we have to lose? All right, so for my shower, I recently got this from a video that I saw on TikTok, of course. It's called Rain-X. I'm going to be linking it down below for you guys, but it's the best thing for your shower doors. Alright, so last but not least is just mopping the rest of the apartment and everything is finally clean. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be linking down below all of my favorite cleaning products and maybe some dupes if I don't find the correct links. I feel like the apartment is finally coming along really nicely. There might be an apartment tour coming to you guys really soon, as soon as we get the rug and some artwork. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found some inspo out of this and motivation to clean. Make sure to stick to the end because there might be some bloopers, but subscribe if you haven't done so already and see you next time. Bye!
red te lo pongo Y si tú me tiras, vamos a nadarle al hondo Porque en la noche, la noche, 